Good morning, guys. Still morning. Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing here. The top dollar with the gold fleet collar all in the mix. Uh, just wanted to drop in here and shoot a little something on my way out of the door to go back to the uh, George R. Brown to the fishing show that they have down here in Houston. Um, going to be bringing a couple of GoPros uh, and uh, that loose browning reel that I was telling you guys about. Uh, and just going to be showing everybody, I might as well put this action hat on here. And uh, I had it extra big. Turn this camera on. In the house real quick, trying to shoot a little something real quick and get out the door. That's what I need to do. So this is that loose that I was telling you guys about that I've been ranting and raving about this real manufacturer for years. And, uh, you know, just went back full circle to kind of give you a quick rundown. I went through all of the Shimano, Ambu Garcia, all of the big you know, names that, you know, all of the top guys use and this and that and the other. And uh, just ended up coming back home to, to lose. And uh, while I like that, I must have did that by accident. And I actually like it better that way. So I'm going to start doing it like that. I hadn't been doing my, my leader like that for my uh, crappie jigs, but I'm going to start doing that. But uh, I'm going to take this off, man, and be showing it to the guys over there. Uh, the fishing show, 40 years old, man, still smooth as silk, and uh, it just spins off. Of course, I don't have it set because I'm not really doing anything but jigging up and down with it, so it almost spun a little bit. That should let you know if it's just from me picking up on it, if it spools that fast and that smooth, that lets you know how fully functional this thing is, man. Just perfect. I mean. It's perfect. Just, just, I mean, just, just like I just bought it, you know. Uh, and all I ever done was oil this thing up. All I've ever done is oil it and wash it off. Never had it apart, any kind of maintenance on it, anything like that. But uh, I just wanted to shoot that real quick on the way out the door. Love my new hat, man. I had somebody message me and tell me that's a real nice high end. Uh, apparel company and I like the little redfish on the top there and uh, I bought it for the color of my unit yesterday I actually have on a little something different maybe I'll find a hat with some gold in it over there today but uh hooked up fishing man that hard hitter I need to get out of here and get me a cup of coffee or tea or whatever I'm gonna have this morning and uh, get the dadgum ball rolling so let me get this dadgum reel off Leave these lures sitting here and just grab the stuff. I actually have to go by Lowe's uh, because my mom wants me to exchange a space heater, heater for her. Uh, I actually left the fishing show, came to the house, got with my wife, little girl, went by the hospital out there and uh, visited with my sister Margaret Ann, who's uh, Passing on, you know, leaving this old dirty earth to, you know, to be in glory. I'm going to take this off. Should just tie a jig on. That's what I ought to do. Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. Now, jumping up to meet with Matt Man and Manny, and hopefully we'll meet up with hey, Jaime in there at the fishing show. So, uh, that's what's going on, guys. Hooked up fishing at Hard Hitter, trying to get out of the door, man, so I can go get with the guys and hang out and have a good time, man. And uh, we'll get back with you guys later. On the corner. Hooked up fishing, you already know what it is. Uh, we're getting ready to go to the George R. Brown. That, that, man, that house wasn't nothing when they built that house. They built that house from scratch. But uh, yeah, man, me and Manny Fresh, waiting on Matt, man. We finna go mob up on this scene over here, man. Turn this George R. Brown out a little bit. Uh, hooked up fishing, y'all already know what we do. We roll with Manny Fresh, man. 
We're rolling big. Six point five point six liter. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of infinity, just to do a little something like we balling. But uh, you know what we're doing hooked up fishing, man. We get hooked up, so we definitely hooked up today, man. We riding big body. You know what I'm saying? So y'all get ready. We the Hobie crew. Yeah, y'all already know what we do on them Hobies. Hey, man, thank you guys for watching. And y'all know what we do, man. We always stay hooked up. So I'm going to get back with you guys when we get out there. But like I say, we're just doing the dadgum thing, man. Uh, riding big body. Nobody can't stop me. <laughs> we're having fun. We're in Fifth Ward, Texas, baby, where it all started. So y'all know. Me and Manny Fresh waiting on Matt, man. We're going to go to the George R. Brown, man. That hooked up fishing, you already know what it is. We're going hey, to the George R. Brown, man. Hey. Yeah, we're going to give Matt, man, a hard time, man. You know, Jesus, you wrong for that, man. Jesus telling Matt, man, we need to hold his hand and make sure he don't get lost. You know, Matt, man's only 19 years old, man. But he's a real good fisherman, man, and a real good guy. And so uh, he's actually planning to go to the military. So it'll be good for him to talk to MDLR, who's a military guy, and he may be there. So, hey, uh, you know, guys, just stay tuned, man. We're doing some big things, man, having a whole lot of fun, and we're going to bring you guys in on it this year for sure. We're going to be mobbing deep, six, seven, eight kayaks deep, 15, 16 deep like we was that time in Texas City, catching all those redfish. We all started. Yeah, well, it all started. But, yeah, man, we at my mom's house. Uh, I'm actually going to go in there and holler at my mom real quick before uh, Matt, man, get here and let me. Uh, Manny meet my mom, who's 96 years old, still does all her own stuff. Pays her all her own bills. She's on top of everything. All her senses. So uh, let's go in here and holler at mom real quick, man, and we'll get back with you guys in a minute. Welcome back, guys. Matt, man, just pulled up. Uh, man is waiting on us. I got to grab my bag, and we're out the door, man. Lock up the truck. And we headed out to the fishing show, man. I found out that's a real nice uh, apparel company. Dagon. Oh. D-A-G-O-N. Look like a redfish on there. But yeah, man, we're going to have some fun at the fishing show, man. Hooked up fishing at Hard Hitters. Matt Man, Manny Fresh. We're riding in a big infinity like we balling. Y'all watch out. <laughs> we in that city. City of dreams. H-Town. Rolling to the George R. Brown, man, to this fishing show, like I was explaining to you, cats, man. Matt, man, rolling. Hard hit up, Manny Fresh. Already know. We're going to meet Jaime up here. Leaving Fifth Ward, Texas. <laughs> He's got his own city, Fifth Ward, Texas. These boys don't know nothing about equipment and Liberty Road, man. This is my stumping ground. Yeah. I got I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Look at that. He already rolling through. You should have got an escort. We rolling, y'all. I'm about to jump out. Right All right. Thank you. Hooked up fishing, baby. We're about to uh, tear it up. Dive in, man. We're going to. Cause man and driving a big, big body, can't stop me. He said, uh, everything on the house. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we are stopping here in Papacito's. We're gonna have a burger and a beer, and then head to the show. Matt man is gonna probably grub out again because his, his metabolism is, is high. He just ate at 10. It's uh, one and he's ready again. But anyway, man, we'll get back with y'all. Enjoying the fishing show, guys. 425 V8 on this boat. That's just bigger than me. It's yeah. taller than me. Yeah. Get a load of that. Really nice rig, man. Look at how it looks. Well, here's all the specs right here. That's too cool, man. Yeah. 10 people, 1,500 pounds. Wow. Yeah, 10 person lot. capacity, man. Ridiculous. Look how nice all this is, man. Look how nice everything is, wow. man. I think the price tag on this one over there on the other side. This on the other side. Ten people, man. Ten? Yeah, Ten. That's a, that's a, that's a 
Dreamboat. Speakers all on the inside, man. Instead of buying a Lambo or all that stupid stuff, I got the money. I have it like this. Pretty cool, ain't it? Man, you see the price tag? Excuse me. Man. There it is. Here you go, Manny. <laughs> Half a house. Half a house. Three times. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Ten people. I know I wouldn't buy a Lambo. I had money. I wouldn't dump it into a Lamborghini. I'd be on something like this. Look at that, man. Look at that captain seat up top driving it. I didn't even pay attention to that. Look up there. That's too cool. You gotta step on your dash to get up. No, nah, that's a step way, man. It might be on the other side of the step. Oh, no, no, never mind. No, it's fine. Look like, yeah, you look like you may have. Oh, no, this is your ladder here. This is your ladder here because that's your step rail to grab onto. So you just climb up through there and step on. That's pretty dang gum neat, man. Pretty freaking neat, man. See through it? It looked like a yeah, see through live well look yeah. like. That's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Oh, there's a net on. Ready to go with your motor? Are you just ready to come get your motor? Either way. Well, I still got it crated up. It's all nice and safe. Is it, man? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Come on, man. Simple, basic. Not a bunch of junk on there. Motor, fishing tackle, and you. Go fishing. Not a bunch of junk. Put your rod holders on the side. Mount them with uh, that uh, adhesive. You know, one the ones that you just hang your rods in. And go. Forever. Turn and go to boats. This is what I'm going to buy right here. To me, it, aluminum trailer is not going to rust. This is never going to rot. Make a duck line out of it? No, they're just telling you some of the material that's used. This? No, that looks like they put a duck line. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah sure did. Because you're going to be able to do all that kind of stuff with it. Here's the... Uh, Foam feel so it'll never sink even if it turns over. It capsizes, it's gonna float. Come on man. And 16,000, that's it. So whenever I can't kayak. I have a trolling motor, I'll pull it. Yeah. But you you get up to like 30. 25, 30 miles an hour with this one, I think. Yeah, 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 I can squeeze that in somewhere for me because, I mean, that's just one band that welded to a plate. Pretty cool, though. Pretty freaking cool. Where do you usually get those at? Where do you usually get those at? Are you already having Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I gotta ease up here. Hey man, I'm good. You? I'm oh, hanging yeah, in there. I'm making it, man. Yeah. Where are y'all at? What I brought that reel for you. Did you? Oh, you're yeah, really I brought cool. that reel for you. Oh, this is the booth. Man, that was funny. Yeah, we're a hidden jewel. Well, you're you gonna get exposed because I'm talking to the guys here. What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Manny's got three of your reels already. All right, good deal. How you doing, man? For you guys today, man. Right. I want to check it out. That old one? 40 years old. And I, and I heard him put it in the case. But, uh, hey, man, if you get a, a reel that's 40 years old and it's never been taken apart, all of it's been done to it, it just washed off after fishing and drops the ball. And it still functions to the point to where 
It's smooth. It's you already making it about it. Exactly. You know, you feel it coming off. Yeah. And fully yeah. functional. Hey, I'll tell you what's going on. It's the smoothest. Come on, man. Is that real gold in the wheels? It best really real, is. best real manufacturer in the world. I, you know, I swear about <laughs> it. I've been saying it on my website for forever. You know, you know, Childress is responsible for all of the innovations in a bank caster. Like the frame design, the teardrop style, that's okay. his. The disengaging of the level wine, which was the most incredible thing for this us. Man this man is not on anymore. What's so that? Yeah, yeah. Well, he can't use Childress anymore because when he, he was with Shimano and then he had no no compete, that's why he uh, okay. had to go to lose. Uh, okay. Couldn't use the Childress name. But if you look back in the day, there's a lot of Shimano stuff with Childress's name on it. Well, tell me, how did the Browning? And he, he built for Browning. Wow. And, and see, but Childress, but see, he built for Shimano. But he he made it. I don't care who you are, what you think. My name's going on everything I do. Wow. So instead of a a, a Childress. Influenced, it was a children's okay. design and built real by Shimano. He was a smart man. He was a smart man. It really stemmed from and this. And you know what made him the most money? He created that pistol grip. Remember the pistol grip for a spin really? He created this that. One, this is the combo? He sold yeah. that I design. Seen this one, so I guess that's one of the few things that he protected. He sold okay, that I've seen the other everybody in the world made a ton of money. That was there. Okay. He's a smart man. And then all he really did was sell his name and technology because he's not nothing to do with the company anymore. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Dio Outdoors who owns it now, they own Strike King. So we got the best owner we ever we ever had right now. They, we got fishermen now, they're not just some business stuff, but right. right. well, we definitely come here, I wanna uh, come on over here, bring that real with you. Are you, are you filming this? Hold this, yeah. Yeah, he's filming it. Hold yeah, I'll hold it. Okay. Hey, I won't get in your way, Manny. Hey, <laughs> you're right. You're good. Oh, one of my old originals. Look at this baby. I've been screaming this to the top of my lungs, man. That this is I the best real manufacturer in the world. I remember this. I remember this. That's made by Ryobi. That just was, I've never did anything but wash it, yeah, and oil it. I've yeah. never had to take it apart, yeah. and it's still as smooth as the day. I'm fully functional. Hold the, hold the I still house. catch big hold monster the crappie yeah. with it because you know it, it was a freshwater deal when I first got into browning. But hey, man, I've got that guy's bought so many of them. I pushed that new one that came out, which is that. Uh, TLL1SH, that, 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 that team light, so light in your hand, carbon fiber. Man, they sold out of them in the area because I just was talking about it. And so I just, this, I had to come back today and, this and was, bring that reel. I this right this here and, and, and the bigger reel uh -huh. were the second iteration of what, what happened to Lou. They went to knock in. No, this is the press right. This is still the press right. Oh, no, no, this is diecast frame. But the second iteration, when you go to diecast frame, you eliminate a lot of problems. Back in the old days, Garcia reels, you'd torque them out. You'd push the Kelly line on it, and they're pressed together, they really torque out, and your spools start coming on the frame. Well, that solved all the problems when people came with diecast frame. This reel was made by Ryobi, which was a diecasting, uh, that was their core business. Wow. Shimano's core business is bicycle gears. That's why yeah. their gears are so yeah. smooth. smooth. Okay. And so those is how, and actually lose. When he first came out with his first reel in 1973, it was made by Shimano. Yeah. Shimano was not even the reel business. They learned how to make reels for loops. When they learned how to make reels and get all the bugs worked out of them, that's when they started selling themselves. So that's kind of how, what happened back in the late, see, mid, middle of the late 70s. See, I went full circle like that, you know, because you're out there in that, in that business and everybody's throwing in. Yeah, so yeah. you want to be in the in crowd. Yeah. So I was going yeah. yeah. you know, not knowingly. Uh, Shimano came from them. I just now learned that today. It did. So I really went back full circle. I went to Shimano and all of that. And then one day I was just in the house and I stumbled up on that because I had to kind of put it away. And I said, man, you know what? I started off with this and it's still as good as it was that day. I put everything else aside, Shimano and Bugosu, and I've been buying nothing but lose. I got the, 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 off, the, the, the offshore speed spool, wide spool, heavy duty, yeah. super duty. Yeah. I got that one. He's got three of them. 
Thank you, guys. I love the segue when someone walks into my store and says, Luz, I've never heard of that brand. And I said, Look, you're talking about the father of fishing. The guy who the, the guy who created this frame, this design, this reel, if it wasn't for him, no telling where we would where be. Where would be? Yeah, we still have push buttons up codes. In 1973, I was Garcia rep. This date back to 69 or something. I was working a promotion in Tyler, Texas, and I'd heard about a reel, a new reel, and they had them there at that store, and the rep for this company was there, and and and, uh, and he came in, and, and I said, oh, I need that reel, because what Luz did when he had his reel made, he broke three paradigms in the fishing reel. Number one, knobs don't have to be round. All the knobs are round. He said, no, they don't have to be round. Number two, reels don't have to be round. They can be geared up. Wow, that really feels good in your hand. Number three, both sides don't have to look the same, shiny and dull. Wow, this feels real good in your hand. That's the things that Lou did, and the reason they were so successful is because Lou was a hard fisherman. He was a hard ah, fisherman. See, that's Not the key, what you just said. He's a fisherman. Yeah. And, and then the disengaged level one, he created that. That, if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be hitting 65 yard cats. See there? And not, you know, not, not with a, not with a, not with a and, and that's the key that's what's going on with me. These guys go out with me and they know if they, if I tell them something, it works. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. true, it's true. I, I told them about a stick bait, which is a saltwater bait, yeah. out fishing the causeway for trout. And yeah. guy, some of the guys were looking at me like, oh, that's a saltwater, that's a freshwater bait. Yeah. So Worked okay, good, it's a freshwater bait until you see me pulling <laughs> six and eight pound trout out in front of you because I got a stick bait. This yeah. guy you over know, here, so. he owns these huge train lights. He's a big nighttime trout fisherman, okay? And his secret is, you know the spec rig, tandem rig? Right. He'll take tiny crappie beetle spin, tiny crappie okay. beetle spin, rig them tandem, and buddy, you will pick the big trout out of the lights. Jeez. Yeah. Smaller. That's what I was just telling smaller, you. Most ball, smaller at night is that, better. Yeah, yeah. That bug's presentation, the smaller yeah. bait sometimes, yep. especially when they're finicky. Now, you, you're looking at bugs, the next and you've never uh -huh. seen like this. Bugs is a redfish I killer. I, told you I know, brown. yeah. For some yeah. reason, yeah, when see, that bait flops, it right. pisses After that, the redfish off, and it'll attack that bait like a, like a, like a, like a yeah, female yeah, bass in spawn. It'll exactly. attack the water dog. Uh -huh. I've yeah. never seen anything like it. Man, so I went and played with it. Yeah, I liked that it. That bugs is an awesome bait. We're going to pick them up. We don't sell tackle in my store. Because he's local, we'll bring local guys in. Because he's local, we're going to pick them up. Which have another brand to sell? He said, would you rather have Shakespeare? Or would you rather have a brownie with with it comes loose? I said the first thing I asked, I said, all right, Jim, do you want another line that does the same thing as Zepco does? The same distribution channel. The same distribution channel. And, and he says, uh, he said, oh. I said, do you want a For dealer or more distribution? Oh, back up? The same distribution, just more stuff. I said, no, I no want dealer. Line. I said, you have no choice. You take Browning with Lewis. And so I opened my mouth. You made me manage that line for about two years. And the first thing that I did was the thumb bar and then it worked. And then made a salt water. Yeah. 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 Dock it. Dock it. Yeah. And we didn't have it for three years in the Morris stuff. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's a, that's, I fished with so many of those. So many powers on those, I couldn't believe it. That, that's, I haven't seen one of those in years. I keep those small little. <laughs> and, and, I, you know, and it just blew me away because I saw all of this browning of children. Yeah. And, you know, and that's what I, yeah. I was saying when I was making the videos. I was saying, okay, lose browning, lose children. Yeah. You know, because that's what was on here. But when I started buying a newer product, there was only lose on there. And I was wondering, where did all that go? You know, Lou, how did Lou got, you know, like, got When Lou died, his son uh, took it. They tried to keep it going, but they didn't have the capacity. So they took the browning and so forth. Brownies. Browning, right. And that was like a hunting deal because it had like these yeah, that's a rifle manufacturer. Yeah. 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 Which, which, yeah. which is a good mix because they're used to making precision metal work. Too. Okay. Dealer call and dealer calls. Yeah. They make dealer calls versus yeah. distributor calls. Yeah. That's what. That's what anybody that has loose wants is to sell a lot of dealers. Right. Right. Not so it's all about yeah. It's all about the dealer, not the distributor. That's right. right. Well, I right. Sent well you the distributors don't know anything about the reels. They just know what they cost. Yeah. Huh. The dealers build the line. Well, we fish them. We fish them. That's so that means the distributor, he has to have a dealer or he don't have anything. So they, they want the dealer. How long have you had that? Uh, since I was uh, 16 and I'm two years from 16. About 16, 17. I wish I still had mine. 
I mean, just, just, to, just to show people old, old Lou, I, I know. new Lou. Well, guess what? Hey, guys, I'll be right over here. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a showpiece because I'm going to tie up with him. And You're a cool guy. Good video, guy. Good this, guy. this video, I'm yeah. going to put it out there and air it. Good. And uh, we're going we're gonna to work this thing. Well, what we've been talking about right here is the, you just kind of, because I lived it, is the history of Lou from 1973. I kind of took you through all the, the various steps, of, steps work. of work, work went, how it got developed, and why it got developed. I mean, a lot of people don't know, and a lot of people don't even know what's Luke, who was Luke. Yeah. They didn't know it now, but they didn't know it when. And I lived it through, and I remember when it first came out, I was at Garcia Rest at Brown Ridge. I never will forget this, this promotion I was working in East Texas. I got my hands on the first one, and I bought it at the retail on the paper. And that night, I went back and looked at it, and in 15 minutes, in my mind, I said, this reel is six feet far of the Bad. Sure. Garcia <laughs> so I, I took it back with me Monday morning. I gave it to the salesman. I said, Sam, you need to send this to Winnie Borks. He looked at it and said, that's pretty good. And he tried to, just, he tried to justify to me as a salesman by Garcia better. You already know what it is. <laughs> From the fishing show to kayak chasing. Me and Trey, <laughs> me and Trey headed to the woodlands. 610 West. We're gonna jump on the belt, man. We're gonna check this kayak out, man. We'll get it loaded on the truck. We'll get back with you guys. Uh, just showing you how I roll, man. And I've been trying to tell people that. Trey called me and said, oh, he messaged the group and said that uh, he was going to go get a kayak. And I just immediately told him, hey, man, look, if you ain't got nobody to go with you, you know, I'll go. I said the same thing to Jesus when he was talking about going to the fishing show if he was going by so. And anyway, man, I'll get back with you guys and we go get this kayak. Looks like a great deal. Just a God given, that's all it is. Trail good dude and we're rolling. So y'all get ready. I'm gonna show y'all something. Look at that. Look at that address. I just happened to have it with me. While we was in the hood yesterday and I was showing Manny. Look at that top address. That very top address. It's my mom's address. My mom get, get birthday cards from the White House, and I can't and I can't get a record deal. <laughs> but I'm working on it from the White House. Oh wow! Yeah, it's Michelle and Barack Obama sent her a happy birthday wishes. 96 years old, still doing a thing. Keep going straight. But yeah, man, we're gonna jump off, man. Just want to run that past y'all too. Got all the cars from the fishing show, man. Everybody, Barry, got everybody up. Trying to get in contact with everybody and let them know what we're doing, man. Just hooked up fishing crew for the mob up on the scene and try to take over later. What it is? Hooked up fishing, and uh, we following up with another little. Old lightweight episode you got Trey automatically we're gonna let y'all know that uh we hooked up with the Hobie when we got it picked up today and we're just bringing Trey over here to meet my moms real quick and kind of run past a little bit of a, a a legacy thing of the hard hitter hooked up fishing baby you know what it is we were here the other day fifth ward Texas y'all and uh we're just gonna run in here and say hi to my mom hopefully She's sitting up and looking good. She might be gone. No. Hey there. What you mean? I was gonna let you meet Trey. What's that? It's Trey, another one of the guys at Kayak Fish. Hey, we, went, we went and picked up a Trey. That's okay. It's nice to meet you. We went and picked up the Trey. Yeah. I was bringing him in here to kind of show him you know, a little bit of how I came from with the fishing and all of that. We went and picked up a kayak wow. today. Hey, Miss Deborah, Deborah, the caretaker, always mm -hmm. taking good care of my mom. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, Trey, like right here, like me and him were having a real extent, extensive conversation. I'm going to start, I guess, down here all the way at the bottom. That's my great great grandfather. Not my great great grandfather. And my great 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 grandfather oh, on my mama's side. Side. On my daddy's side, <laughs> full blood Irish. Okay, and then up here to my left, 
to Mama, who I always, I always want to go to Mama first. Because when I turned 16, Mama right there, nobody would take up fishing because everybody was older. And I would, they waited 10 years to have me. So when I got my license at 16, instead of going to pick up my buddies and running the streets, I would go pick up my grandmother. She would kiss me on the cheek with white snuff gift in her mouth <laughs> and take me freshwater fishing, is, which is where I bought my first lose right. bait caster that I had at the boat show the other day where it picked up. That's her husband, my grandfather. And the grocery store, my dear, where is it at? Down here? They were the first yes. black owned yes. grocery store, oh, wow. gas station, and hamburger stand in City Gas right there. And that's my mom. And then, you know, a flood of all these pictures. Yeah. But yeah. That's cool. And then. Yeah, okay, I know that. I but, know that yeah. but look, here go the hard hitter. And how oh, okay. old? <laughs> this is what I was starting. And, and here go the hard hitter. When, uh, when I was giving Michael Jackson a run for his money when I had the big pro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, my dear, we rushing because uh, he actually had to pass by this way coming. 96 years old still, writing, paying all our own bills, and uh, handling all our own business. And eating better than me because that's what he's trying to get me home to my uh, turkey necks and rice <laughs> and greens. So, and Greg, yeah. You, you fish with him or you put the car with I him? haven't fished with him yet, but he's getting oh, the kayak yeah. because he just got into the to the group. And we just been busy, you know. He came with me to look right. at something, make sure I wasn't getting, uh, make sure I was getting the right deal. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah sure a kayak. He was buying a kayak, so I told him just come by the house. I'll pick him up, and uh, so he went and looked at. I mean, he'll pick me up, and we'll go look at the kayak and all of that. Mm -hmm. So I did that with him. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to get home and eat because I ain't ate nothing this morning. Yeah. AC was out, and the man was over there repairing it while he was waiting patiently. Just a tough day, but yeah, I just wanted to. Shoot a little footage tray and uh, let y'all know. Hey, man, we'll get back with y'all later. Peace. Peace out. I also show you guys this that I picked up from the fishing show as well. After I've uh, put it to use a little bit, I just kind of briefly here uh, used it. And as you can see, uh, it has incorporated one of my offshore reels that I caught that big kingfish with one of my old school pins over here that I took offshore just to remember my mom and dad uh, one of the first reels that I kind of started out with okay and uh, I still have room here and I just bought really the smaller one they make them well they hold up to 12 15 and what's cool about them is they'll hold offshore stuff and they're very steady if you see me leaning on this thing here it's very sturdy, you know. Uh, yeah, just real cool deal, guys. And uh, there's the website. And they're out of Florida, I think. But uh, I'm gonna shoot, uh, you know, you guys this and let you incorporate it into, uh, you know, keeping your tackle. You know, I'm up here trying to organize mine. I got all this stuff here you know, in there, my hats and stuff, but as far as my tackle, tackle, you know, I picked up, of course, the best real manufacturer in the world. Uh, you know, I kind of organize it like this for right now. And, uh, you know, I pull out some things that I kind of want to try on Conroe here. They were in here, but I brought them out. <laughs> Strike King Top water poppers. Uh, they want clearance at Academy, so I grabbed them, and I'll make them work. Right presentation, they'll work. But I want to use them on Conroe, and of course I want to use a one of my favorites, crawfish colored crankbait. Can't hardly beat that, no matter what time of the year, especially now in the spring. Crawfish are coming out. Bass will love that. But anyway. One of the things that I incorporated, they got these clear bins, and you can kind of stick all your stuff in there. My crappie stuff is in there, and, uh, you know, some other white bass stuff in the red box, and, of course, those boxes. But, yeah, man, just uh, one of the things I kind of picked up on and 
you know, it works. You know, Rapala, Husky, Jerk. And what I love about it, um, it's a spinning bait. So I may be able to get it down deep enough to get a big fish to bite on it, you know. If not, I'll go with a smaller one. I'm not going to throw it now. But this is also the going. This is also going in my saltwater box here. Uh, it's the original Pat. You know, new 2x hooks. Okay, all that's good. Strike Pro. Never heard of them. Tournament grade, but uh, superior quality. Okay, I'm seeing all this. And those guys that were there at the table were a couple of guides, and they say redfish love them. So. It's going in the saltwater box here, you know. When I leave a crappie alone, I'll throw that. Yeah, let me keep the ball rolling. I'm trying to get ready. Tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm trying to make it a good birthday.